You might have heard the phrase that DDR5 is a leap ahead of DDR4. But what's actually new about it? Without wasting any of your time, starting off with number one, it's the capacity. Now, given two RAMs of 8 and 32 GB in size, which one would you choose? Probably 32 GB. Why? Because size matters. And that's exactly what DDR5 gives you. While DDR4 is stuck at 32 GB per RAM stick max size, DDR5 theoretically takes it to the next level. Exo or 128 GB per stick. It's like you can install 512 GB RAM in your system if your motherboard allows it. But per stick maximum 48 GB in India. Mein. But eventually we should see larger capacity sticks, especially with the new 9000 series and Intel's 15 gen arriving later this year. And what will happen to this? Your system will overall multitasking, you can do a lot of things like Google Chrome, open the two tabs and edit 4K footage without lag edit and you know really, you'll never run out of RAM. But DDR5 isn't just about capacity, it's also about faster speeds, which is our next point, clock speed. With base speed starting from 4800 MHz, which was DDR4's highest clock speed, tha, it reaches all the way up to 8400 MHz, leaving previous generation RAMs way behind. With higher clock speeds, you enjoy a higher bandwidth translated into faster data types, quicker load times, and an overall smoother experience. For gaming, streaming, working, or any demanding task you can think of. So, one thing is that 3D modeling or AI. I feel these RAM sticks are made for the power user. Number three is extra pins. Actually, extra pins this many. They come with the same 288 pins, same as DDR4. Kuch nahi badla. But the way it's configured has changed. This new pin configuration ensures better power delivery and signal integrity. The improved design not only enhances performance, but also your system stability under heavy workload. But how? That's exactly our next point. Now, DDR5 supports dual bit subchannel. Huh, yeah, heck. Now, DDR5 changes how data transfers through the bit bus. Now, DDR4 supports single 64 bit channel, whereas DDR5 utilizes dual 32 bit channels equivalent to 64 bits transferred at one time. Whew, sab ka matlab kya hai? This allows more precise data transfers instead of waiting for an entire 64 bit transfer over the bit bus. Kafi confusing. But now DDR5 data transfers are hence more efficient, resulting in lower power draw. Which brings us to our next point, lower voltage. Now the major difference in DDR5 RAM is it has on-chip voltage regulation. And that's why it consumes almost 10% lower voltage per stick. While the difference is not huge, it allows for much better performance and stability since all RAM manufacturers can configure the voltage perfectly for their own RAM. And the next point is error correction. While ECC memory is not a very new thing, DDR5 RAMs take it to another level, incorporating on-die ECC, which means new chips may error correction built in hoga directly in the memory chip and not just at the module level. This built-in ECC will be more reliable, faster, and even for non-ECC modules, it will overall improve system stability. So whether you're editing videos or running complex simulations, DDR5 ensures your data remains intact. And for these reasons, a DDR5 RAM gives you not just high clock speed with low latency, but a future-proof system for flexible upgradability. Its flexibility to fit in server PCs or workstations makes it actually worth your while. And if you want to build a PC with DDR5 RAM sticks or DDR4 or any others, visit our stores in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Gurgaon or Mumbai. And we'll build your PC for practically every possible use case you could have. And even if you're not there where our stores are located, we're doing national shipping. Thank you for watching.